by the way, so we're allowed to play. <coughs> so <coughs> the lab on West Nile virus is a. Uh, I can also put the video on it if you want to. I'm not sure many, how many of you want to watch the video. The, after the lab, I uh, you need to uh, read the paper, discuss the results, see what come up with a possible explanation of what do you think they, uh, what happened, how did the West Nile virus got into the United States or not? This is an actively research area in West Nile. Uh, in, in, in fact, there's the recent news on the NSF website say the American rodent play a key role in the spread of West Nile viruses. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, that's a recent. Uh, but well, this happened after West Nile virus has got into the United States, so we are not focusing on this. We are focusing on how it got into the got it got here at the first place. We are not studying how it spread after it got here. So that's a different emphasis. Okay. Yeah.
two when Tom Barnes came into Fairfax County with a bang, had 13 human cases with one fatality. That's a viral disease that was first discovered in Uganda in 1937. And it came into the United States in the late 1990s. And it just swept across the country at our alarming speed. And it's a disease of birth. But when man gets into the cycle, then you have uh, the mosquito transmitting the virus to man. 80% of the people have no symptoms whatsoever. 20% have West Nile fever. About 1% of this 20% will develop a neurological infection, which is either a meningitis or encephalitis. And about 10% of that 1% uh, is fatal. Since it came in, it is the most important and is the most uh, widespread viral disease that mosquitoes transmit in the United States. We have a surveillance program in Fairfax County. We set out about 200 traps every week. This is a CDC light trap, and it, uh, you have uh, dry ice in that container, and it's got two holes on the top, and CO2 comes out of the holes, uh, which is what we breathe out. And then the trap is activated by a battery, a six volt battery, and in the trap itself, if you tilt it a little bit this way, we'll see it has a, a, a the other way. Yeah. We have a fan inside of it, and it has a, a light bulb, and as the mosquitoes get close, they'll get sucked into the collective, yeah, the collective community unit that Brett's put it on there, and tomorrow morning we'll just come and pick it up. And we have put one of the, uh, a plastic bag that goes on, it's a hollow tube plastic bag, and that just keeps everything dry because once mosquitoes get wet, it's hard to identify them. We have four different kinds of traps that are specific for special mosquitoes, and we collect those mosquitoes, and the day we bring them in, We'll separate them by species, we'll put them in vials, and we'll have them tested with PCR for the virus. This is our mosquito identification lab, and what I have here is the collection chamber from one of our gravid traps, which is a trap that is used to collect uh, certain types of female mosquitoes that are ready to lay eggs. The reason we like this kind of trap uh, is that it's, it's useful in collecting the types of mosquitoes that can transmit things like West Nile virus. You kill the mosquitoes and then we'd set them out on these uh, on these petri dishes, on these on these lids, and we can go through and separate out the different species that we have. We've already tested about a thousand samples, so I'll guess we're somewhere in the realm of 30,000 mosquitoes that we have tested this year so far, and we have not found any virus. But we expect to find it either this week or next week we'll find our first virus in the mosquitoes. The best practice to protect yourself against mosquitoes is to eliminate breeding sites around your house. Eliminate the water around your house. And one of the biggest culprits is that black corrugated pipe that a lot of people use to take the water from the roof gutters to away from the house. These these produce mosquitoes. So what we're telling people to do, we don't tell you to take them out, we tell you to put in a, a, a mosquito uh, dunk in there, which is a, a larvicide that will kill the mosquito larvae. And you tie it off and you change it once a month. So the best way that you want to do is eliminate anything where mosquitoes can develop around your house. That's number one. Number two, we're a re repellent. We have DEET, we have picaridin, we have oil and lemon eucalyptus, and we have IR3535. These four are um, EPA approved and CDC approved, so we approve as well. A lot of people say, which is the best one? The best insect repellent that you can use is the one that you will wear. If you have any questions, go to our website and uh, there's a place you can send us an email. You can ask us a question all the time, uh, anytime you want to, any question. And if we don't know the answer, we'll tell you where you can probably find the answer. This is 2008. Now it's actually much more widespread. So, for the lab, uh, we can read some uh, background introduction of the West Nile viruses. Uh, why, you, why we are doing this? Uh, the, the lab itself is quite uh, straightforward. Go to my website, download the sequence, go to the French site, 
choose one clear copy and paste the sequence, you will get a lot. It's it probably will be done for me or something. <laughs> but the key is not that the generate phylogeny. Based on the phylogeny, what you can conclude uh, how do we interpret the phylogeny? So okay, let's uh, let's see go to my website. Uh, If you Google my name, uh, if I test that, if you uh, you probably just can't get the website. Uh, yeah, see so here the second one. Uh, uh, it's on <laughs> download and course module is West Nile Virus Lab. Uh, that's the CDC West Nile background. And that's the sequence. You may want to right click on this and open a new path. There, do that sequence and select, go to edit, select all, and then say copy. And then we go back to call side, right, right click on the French phylogeny sign. There, and choose one click. And then paste everything for the sequence there. You may want to add a title, say uh, West Nile, Spelling, or your name, the initial, I'll say. Okay. So then submit and wait for a result. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm typing the website inside the, uh, the browser. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, it's simple, straightforward, but because I provided the sequence to you. If you are asked to collect a sequence, where I should go? Go to collect the sequence. If you need to go to NCBI data bank. Look at the the best style viruses and look at the the, the, the source of it and bring that from. So it's it's simple because I have done this work and have provided the sequence. All right, uh, I'm not going to interpret this to you, and you need to interpret it on your own. I have one of you going to present this uh, yes. on Wednesday. Oh, wait a minute, that didn't happen. I will. I know that uh, someone has already bought it. <laughs> so. Wait, how do you make it come up like that? So you can just copy, let me see what. Oh, wait, I saw you can just copy this. I didn't get the tree. Oh, I need to get a tree. <coughs> oh, <coughs> Oh, you won't let me do that. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, this. Yeah, this. Yeah, this. Yeah, this. Yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you can just save it. I mean, uh, uh, let me see. Yeah, you can download it if you. Uh, I have trouble to copy paste, but you can just download the figure and then put it to your original. Thank you. What did you get? Yeah, you were Yes. I'm going to stop this.